Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I'm your host, Mark Francis. Just when you thought we were done with Harry and Meghan and Netflix, The Mirror reports H&M will present and executive produce a brand new series on Netflix called Live to Lead, a series inspired by the legacy of Nelson Mandela. A trailer for the series shows Harry explaining, This was inspired by Nelson Mandela, who once said what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. Megan adds, But what difference we have made to the lives of others to determine the significance of the life we lead. As they speak, we see pictures of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Greta Thunberg, Gloria Steinem and Nelson Mandela. Harry adds, It's about people who have made brave choices, before Megan says, To fight for change and become leaders. The trailer finishes with Harry saying, when giving inspiration to the rest of us to live to lead. So how popular was the Netflix documentary anyway? Variety reports that the final three episodes did better than the first three, which had already made it Netflix's biggest documentary debut of all time. The doc was watched by 97.7 million hours between December 12th and December 18, compared to the previous 81.6 million. The Jeremy Clarkson story has not gone away. At the time of this recording, there had been no official public statement on behalf of King Charles and Camilla, despite the target of Clarkson's attack being a member of the royal family. Yahoo News UK understands that the palace is, however angry at some of the media coverage of a lunch attended by both Camilla and Clarkson last week. Yahoo writes, The palace is understood to feel that at any attempt to link Camilla and Clarkson's comments because they attended the same lunch together are highly misleading. Palace Injury will be right back. Historically, at this time of year, we would be deep into stories about Sandringham and the family gathering for Christmas. But as this year has shown, Meghan Markle dominates the news cycle. However, here in our fourth story of the day, we can finally get to the royal Christmas plans. The royal watchers shared that the king and queen hosted their first Christmas lunch for members of the extended British royal family, continuing the late queen's tradition of hosting a lunch for those family members who aren't invited to spend Christmas with the royal family at Sandringham in Norfolk due to lack of space. The Daily Mail adds, This year, at a break from tradition, the event took place at Windsor Castle. The first to arrive this afternoon was King Charles himself, who travelled to Windsor in a car. He opted for a smart baby blue tie for the occasion, which he paired with a navy blue suit. Meanwhile, Camilla followed shortly afterward, wrapped up warm in a padded navy jacket, which he paired with a blue velvet blouse beneath. The mail reminds us the tradition is one of the rare times when all the monarch's extended family meet. The family are seated at round tables, enjoying a Sandringham bread turkey luncheon pull crackers. Harry and Meghan released their Christmas card showing the couple attending the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Awards earlier this month. It reads, Wishing you a joyful holiday season from our family to yours and on behalf of our teams at Archwell Foundation, Archwell Audio and Archwell Productions, we wish you health, peace and a happy new year. Best wishes, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The children do not appear on the card. Looking ahead, Cosmopolitan believes Little Prince Louis is set to join other members of the royal family on their traditional walk to St. Mary Magdalene Church on Christmas Day. The walk begins at Sandringham House and finishes at St. Mary Magdalene Church, where the family attend the morning service. During the 300-metre public stroll, the royals meet and greet crowds of people who line the route to the church. Cosmo adds, walking to the church would be a big milestone for Louis, but the final decision as to whether he joins his family will not be made until the day itself. An official statement stated, Their Majesties, the King and Queen Consort, accompanied by members of the royal family, will attend the morning service on Christmas Day at Sandringham Church on Sunday 25th December 2022. Biographer Ingrid Seward tells People, Charles has always been very, very fond of Sandringham. Christmas within any family is always about tradition. He will keep it the same as it ever was. Seward adds that Queen Camilla will be a real presence. She can't have him hosting his first Christmas on his own. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please follow us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your favourite shows. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue. Good times. Yeah.